If you are a military enthusiast, you must have been totally familiar with the Stryker vehicles. Stryker is a series of eight-wheeled armored combat vehicles developed and built by General Dynamics Land Systems, GDLS, and are used by the U.S. Army as primary equipment in the warfare. In addition to being the U.S. Army's number one military vehicle, the Stryker is well known as the Battlefield Wheeled Armored Vehicle of the 21st Century. The Stryker is available in 11 various configurations, all of which have a double V-hull design to protect personnel from mines and improvised explosive devices. They include the M1126 Infantry Carrier Vehicle, the M1296 Dragoon Armored Personnel Carrier, the M1127 Reconnaissance Vehicle, the M1128 Mobile Gun System, the M1129 Mortar Carrier, the M1130 Commander's Vehicle, the M1131 Fire Support Vehicle, the M1132 Engineer Squad Vehicle, the M1133 Medical Evacuation Vehicle, the M1134 Anti-Tank Guided Missile Carrier, as well as the M1135 Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical Reconnaissance Vehicle. And now, the GDLS is surprisingly introducing a brand new hybrid variant in the Stryker family, the Stryker X. The design of the Stryker X is very much influenced by the notion that military vehicles in the warfare are a big contributor for the increased greenhouse emissions, which led to the climate change. Historically, the initial Stryker infantry carrier was created after the Cold War as part of initiatives to adapt the U.S. military to new military circumstances. The deployment of the Interim Armored Vehicle, IAV, was designed to fill the gap between bulkier and highly armed but not easily deployed vehicles like the M2 Bradley, as well as lightly equipped, easily deployed vehicles like the Humvee. The IAV was a U.S. Armored Fighting Vehicle Acquisition Program intended to serve as a bridge vehicle until light air mobile vehicles from future combat systems manned ground vehicles program were ready. However, that program was discontinued before it could produce any results. After that, the GDLS proposed a vehicle based on the Canadian LAV-3 8x8 light armored vehicle design which we currently know as the Stryker. With eight wheels that can function in four-wheel drive as 8x4 configuration or all-wheel drive as 8x8 configuration, the vehicle can traverse most terrain while protecting the personnel it transports. The Stryker's powertrain is a Caterpillar diesel engine, which is also utilized in other U.S. Army medium lift vehicles. The operation of this sort of engine reduces the need for additional training for maintenance crews and enables for the use of standard components. The engine and transmission can be removed and reinstalled in roughly two hours, allowing for repairs to the turbocharger and other components to be performed outside the vehicle. Although the efficient diesel engine on Stryker has no fuel consumption issues, it allows for a restricted range of the Stryker which is limited to 310 miles. It also has a noise problem as the clatter of the diesel engine is well known and easy to detect in a busy metropolitan setting. Therefore, at AUSA 2022, taking place on the 10th of October in Washington, D.C., the GDLS unveiled its new technologies and concept through the next generation Stryker X. The vehicle has undergone significant upgrades from previous designs by including a hybrid electric power plant and unmanned aerial vehicle integration. The hybrid diesel electric power plant on Stryker X was prominently emphasized during the conversation with GDLS team. As reported by Overt Defense, the GDLS stated that the hybrid power on the Stryker is mainly designed to offer the capacity to travel silently without operating any motor for a great distance. This shows that the diesel hybrid setup on the Stryker enables the vehicle to have silent watch and silent movement. 
which will significantly assist the dismounted squad to get in and out of locations without getting harmed. Another point that makes the new Hybrid Striker X even more outstanding is that it can remain stationary and operate all of the electrical devices and sites for a long period of time, even for days, without turning on the engine. This means that its power unit can transfer electricity to another system while it is stationary and is not consuming the power produced by the engine. As a result, the striker can function as a generator for a number of activities that might occur in both military and humanitarian operations. Furthermore, while the primary objective for the hybrid engine is to improve range and reduce logistical difficulties, the Pentagon also has climate concerns. The new hybrid power pack is expected to reduce fuel consumption by 50%, which will benefit both emissions and combat. Overall, the new Stryker X modern design supports the Army's climate and electrification initiatives. The Stryker X is intended to replace the previous Stryker infantry fighting vehicle, which has been in service for nearly 40 years. Besides its new hybrid power pack, the Stryker X is outfitted with an integrated active protection system and superior electrical architecture with cyber defense inside. All around sensors on the Stryker X provides the crews with 360 degree situational awareness as well as see through armor capabilities. The Stryker X is also designed to be less crowded on the inside and could possibly provide more space for more people. This is because the Stryker X has a side by side crew compartment as well as extra room for the infantry unit. It is also important to note that at the AUSA 2022, not only was the next generation Stryker X presented by the GDLS to feature the hybrid diesel electric power unit, but the new generation Abrams X also made its debut with similar new design showcasing its new hybrid electric power plant. According to GDLS, the new technologies include improved situational awareness, mobility, and crew safety, as well as silent watch and maneuver capabilities with reduced fuel consumption compared to the earlier Abrams and Stryker models. Moreover, both the Abrams X and the Stryker X include UAV integration in the form of the Switchblade 300 for increased intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. The Switchblade 300s are installed on both the Stryker X and the Abrams X so that the vehicles have the capacity to launch and control a lingering munition. They can transmit live video feeds while on their way to a target, which increases the crew's and squad's situational awareness even before the kamikaze dash to the target. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.